I find this book probably the best book I've ever read on drawing portraits. It's very valuable. I always return back to it when I feel like I need to improve my drawings. My drawings are getting weaker. I always go back and just read this book, even if I'm not drawing portraits at all, because it goes so well over the fundamentals of how to draw, how to begin a drawing. So if you feel your drawings aren't realistic enough or they're not good enough, or you struggle with proportions or facial features, uh, and you've, you like to draw portraits or you wanna to learn to draw portraits, this book is definitely the way to go. Definitely something you should read. So when we're drawing something from life or trying to capture something in front of us or make it look realistic or semi-realistic. It's not about how much detail we put in it, you know. We don't want it to look like a photograph, unless that is our goal. Unless you're a photorealist artist, then maybe you want it to look like a photograph, you're gonna render every detail. Is the ear as important as the eyes and the nose and the mouth? You know, probably not, especially if it's in shadow or something. Uh, you know, you gotta understand what to focus on, what to render. And this book really helped me to understand that and realize that. You know, so if we're trying to make something really realistic, it's not always just about all the details. We want to capture the spirit of that person or of the drawing, the essence of it. You know, it's something that's hard to really solidify and to say into words, but it's something that when you see it and when you feel it in a piece of art, you know that you captured it. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, probably like yourself. They have many classes on topics including illustration, design, photography, art, video, freelancing, and more. One class I enjoy is called Start Drawing, Techniques for Pencil Portraits by Gabrielle Bricky. She covers all kinds of techniques and exercises for learning to draw portraits. I definitely recommend checking it out. So the cool thing is there's no ads on any of the videos and they're always launching new premium classes. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare where you can explore your creativity. You know, another thing this book is very good at is showing the process of a portrait drawing. You know, very, very helpful. It has a whole chapter just going through the process of a bunch of different portrait drawings. There's a lot of different ways you can do things and experiment. It's fun to like try new things and just see if it's gonna work. Depending on the subject, and I've noticed this with my own pen and ink drawings, you're gonna have a different process depending on what you're drawing. If you're drawing trees and a landscape and it's mostly in shadow, like you're gonna approach it differently than something, a building well lit or a face or a portrait or... So if you're a beginner artist, just go for it, experiment. Don't be afraid to fail. If you feel like you're lost, like once you get into the middle of a portrait or past the beginning stage and you kind of get lost in all these details and jumbles of value and all this stuff with shading, uh, definitely check out this book because it's going to show you a clear path of what to do. So the last thing I got from this book is that to create something great, it's going to take a lot of time. You know, when you go through this book, you will see that how many different drawings this guy did over so many years. You know, he shows so many different drawings and each one of them is like from the 90s or the 80s or early 2000s. He has so many different drawings and it, it just made me realize that this is a long process and you have to, it's about study. It's about focus and study and making deliberate decisions in, with our work and always going back to the fundamentals, right? The beginning of the book, the whole beginning half of the book is really just about the fundamentals the fundamentals and how to think like an artist, how to think about your process, how to think about drawings and what to do. You know, he doesn't even talk about the materials to, the, to like the middle of the book and the process in the middle of the book. And I think that's so important. You know, I think that's something as artists we, we kind of don't do enough of. We don't do enough thinking. We don't do enough understanding the basics and the fundamentals. We just want to get right into it and create something great and be like these other artists we see on YouTube or that we admire from the past or whatever, but we don't understand, we don't see all the process, the years and time and hours that it took to get there. So let's wrap up real quickly. Three things I learned from this book is that creating a realistic piece of art is about capturing the essence. It's not about every single little detail, right? It's about capturing the essence and understanding the necessary details and going with your gut. The second thing I learned is having a process is very important and having a set of processes, you know, a bunch of different processes, way to approach things, solving, problem solving, go about it in different ways, experimenting, having fun, trying new things. The last thing I learned is that 
it takes a long time. It's tough. It's a tough road. It's, it's something you have to study. You think like an artist. You know, we have to we have to be dedicated to our craft, think more like an artist, and be willing to put in the time and energy into it. So, anyway, like I said, definitely if you're into portraits, definitely check out this book. It's pretty cheap. You can buy it on Amazon, on Kindle, or whatever digital. Definitely use the link below, and hopefully you'll learn some more things as well. Anyway, take care of yourself. Peace.